Oh my God. Wait, look, look at this. Okay, I can't believe it. So today is the day my collection is going live on Amazon. I do not know the time that it's going to go live, but I know it's today. And the reason I know it's today is because I found out on Sunday. Sunday, August the 8th, I did an Instagram post, which you can see right here, letting everybody know that that is the day that it went live. And as soon as they told me, I turned around and just told everybody on Instagram, on my Facebook, Twitter, just everywhere. I think on my newsletter, I have a newsletter and I think on the newsletter I probably told everyone first. If you don't know, I do have one and it goes out like every couple of weeks. I'll leave a link for that below. Anyway, so today is the day that it's going out. So I thought I would do a video just running through my collection and just showing you how I style my pieces. It's only live to buy for 30 hours. That is how Amazon The Drop works. Every piece is made to order and once the fulfillment is done in that particular fabric for the garment it is sold out and it's no longer available so they don't just keep doing restocks once everything has been made it's it's finished it's it's done so it is a limited quantity of these pieces and i'm going to run through my pieces it's six in total um, if you want to know how to shop the collection i don't know what time today it's going to go live this video is going up like really early on August the 10th. I know I probably posted it literally just after midnight. I just know at some point today, I don't know what time, but at some point today it is going to go live. Because I don't know what time the collection goes live, if you want to get a text alert or an email alert that tells you, boom, Karen Bridget's line has just gone live on Amazon to buy, then I will leave the link for you below. Just click on that link, scroll down, it will show you something like text alert or email alert, something like that. Leave your information there, either your email or your text, and there is still time to do that. And once you do, you will get a notification telling you the exact moment that my collection goes live. So you'll get first access and first dibs and get exactly the size you want and the color you want, blah, blah, blah. So that is how you do it. Also stay close to my Instagram, Karen Britchick today, especially today, Tuesday, August the 10th, because as soon as I see the collection go live, I'm going to be posting on my Instagram, which is telling you that it's gone live and in my Instagram stories. I will leave a swipe up link for you to actually just go direct to shop the collection. Okay, so that is on my Instagram. But if you are not on Instagram, you can just follow the link below. Anyway, that is it. So these are the pieces that I'm wearing. And I thought, let me just do a quick and easy video just showing you how I'm styling the pieces and why I love them. So the first up is this. The color of this is insane, first of all. It is a, it's a green open shirt dress convertible. That's the best way to describe it. It is in this gorgeous emerald green color. I'll show you in the cutaways the exact color. It is very deep rich autumnal kind of emerald and it is basically a zebra print because a lot of you know I love zebra print it's one of my favorite things um, and I wear this in different ways I love to mix prints as you know so getting something in a print in my collection was an absolute necessity so it buttons all the way it's v front but you're going to see how many different ways I wear it I have it opened at the moment over these jeans like a kind of like a longish kind of jeans actually these are from Amazon as well I'll leave these jeans linked below and this bustier top is also actually this is from amazon i love this this is like a knit like a thin knit material it's actually cropped so you can see my skin right there it has these lines right under here it's almost like a corset effect right here but it's a really nice knit i love it it's really comfortable i have it in a size small i think and i also got it in like a taupey color and then it comes with its own belt this dress convertible piece but I took the belt off and I just looped it around to wear it as a choker. And instead I wore my own belt, which you can do, just take your own belt and just like, just make your own thing, obviously, just customize it. You know it has pockets. There's no way I would have made something like this and not have pockets. Um, I love the sleeve of this bloody dress. Outside the color, it's the sleeve. That stunning slit, that sleeve right there, that cuff, it is just so nice. I love the way it's just, it's so long and narrow and it's got like a nice full sleeve here, this part, just above the cuff. It's nice and full. So it just has that, look at that. 
it just has that really nice fullness and it just reminds me of something you get from a vintage shop so I love to wear it just like a cover up just like that and then I will take like a bag like a summer bag this is when it's obviously still warmer and I'll just do something like that so it's a nice easy summer look if you're going out I just think it just looks so simple very carefree um, also over denim jeans I've done it really looks good like that so it's a really simple versatile almost like a a cover or a duster in America they call them dusters I believe I think it looks so good um, worn like that because it's just like a it's a nice way to be showing yourself and not showing much really if that makes any sense it's such a good layering piece and it looks so good worn this way so that is like one of the first ways to wear it let me show you another way another way to wear this is over a pleated skirt um, I literally just unbuttoned it completely so it almost is like a long jacket kind of slash top um, belted it with my own and then kept the dress belt that it comes with as the same as a choker these sleeves i keep looking at this drape here this this definition looks so good i'll show you in the cutaways but i'm basically just wearing a long pleated skirt over it and i love the idea of just doing that because the skirt and the dress are kind of the same sort of length so it really works together so that's a nice little tip is to get a maxi skirt all you want is that flash of that you know that contrasting texture with the zebra print to show and that's it and I just bunged on a pair of uh, sneakers so you can see just like that but I thought it looks really good like that just any of your old sneakers um, I have plain white and different colors doesn't really matter you just decide um, coordinate it with your bag and then that's it or a pair of brogues if you want I've also worn it with sandals that you could wear um, and then later on obviously obviously with a pair of boots so it really is up to you how you want to kind of style it but this is just another way just completely open so a couple of other pieces in the collection i already showed you this part and i haven't finished with it because it just goes with so many pieces is this blouse it is the matching blouse to this longer convertible shirt dress i like the idea of just doing this um i am just wearing the top adding this on top just to add an extra layer because I feel like it. Um, and then I've got my cargos, which are also part of the collection. They have this asymmetric waistline right here. It actually zips up like that first, and then this flap goes across to create that asymmetric cut. And then it has like this long tie that I wanted to just hang down on the side. This is a D-ring right here. And I just like just the casualness of this. This is a collection I call Tomboy Chic. And to me, it just is a reflection of those two things. I haven't even done up the cuffs. I've left them kind of loose. The blouse sleeves fits effortlessly into the dress sleeve because the sleeve on the dress is much bigger. God, I look, I love, this looks so good. I'm sorry, but this looks, you've got, I tell you, you've got to have this kind of reaction if you ever have something that you create. I don't care what it is. It could be writing a book. It could be a drawing. I don't know. You, you, it's got to give you that reaction because if not, where is the joy? This is one of my favorite looks because it is literally a combination of feminine and masculine at the same time. This is about a line that goes, it straddles summer, but it takes you really nicely into fall. These are really good transitional pieces to wear together, mix and match them with each other or with your own wardrobe. So that is the whole point of why I created this collection. So I think this is such a great outfit. I haven't even shot this look, but I kind of feel like I should. And then you could just, if you wanted, See, I'm literally playing. I wonder if I would do, oh sh I can see it already, just from holding it, my Loewe belt. Oh my God. Wait, look, look at this. Oh my God, this is a magic belt. I look like a warrior. I look like I need to be on Black Panther and kick some butt. Look at this. You can find dupes to this belt and I will link a few below because Etsy is crawling with them. So I've seen quite a few of them and they just have this gorgeous corseting effect. This is not a look for everyone, but this is so a look for me. I would so do this. I love this together. It's just a really strong, powerful look. Oh, I love this. This looks so good. Oh my God. I'm just like, I, I haven't created this look before. This is the first, as you can tell, hopefully. Just take any kind of step. <laughs> 
Okay, if anyone gets these, this combo of the blouse with this part, the longer part, and then the cargoes, just get any kind of statement belt and you can create this look with your own trainers, your own sneakers. See? Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, what bag, what bag? I don't even care what bag. It could be anything, anything black. It doesn't really matter. As long as I've got a black bag, that's the whole point. Oh God, this looks so cool. Oh my God, I love this. And you can see in the cutaways as well, I'm showing you, but this is so badass and I, I'm in love with this look. This is such a great, oh my God, I tap myself on the back with this collection, I'm telling you. Love it. This is one of my favorite ways to wear something like this. It's just to just layer it. Just honestly, all I'm doing is just layering. And that's why I like this collection is because you just layer, 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 or just strip back. It's up to you how far you want to go. So let me just change into the next look so you can get an idea on how to style it. So another way is, and I think I showed you this before, I know I've shown you it ad nauseum on my Instagram, I'll show you here, is just wearing the blouse layered underneath the dress or the convertible shirt dress part. And because they are identical in their pattern and their color, you can't tell where one piece starts when one piece ends. So it just looks to the eye that you're wearing just a high neck dress where all I did was just put the blouse and laid it underneath so it's a twin set basically so I loved that versatility that convertibility of these pieces and I really wanted to really feel like you're getting your bang for the buck where you don't have to buy a separate second dress you've already got that second dress you've got more than a second dress you have like about 10 different ways to wear this but the point is you don't have to buy another like you'd say, oh, I wish this was a turtleneck version or a polar neck version for when it's, you know, a little bit more autumnal. You've already got it. And I just love this look. This together, and I just put some boots on. I'll show you in the cutaways, but I just added my Zara, you know, these, these. <laughs> I just added my Zara boots. I just love that together. And then for a pop, I just put on this bag, this Jacquemus bag, just for a pop of white. I just think that looks so... It looks so good together. It's just that combination. I love it. Anyway, so that is that is a look already. Oh, hold on, let me just show you a jacket. Okay, so I picked this trench. It's just a leather trench. Oh my god! I haven't buttoned it up properly, so that's why it's coming undone. This actually has buttons that goes all the way down. I've literally just been lazy because I'm changing so much in front of you, but this does button all the way down so it doesn't like show your legs if you button it that way but i just wanted to show you oh my god look at this for the fall this is why i designed emerald with zebra not in black and white i wanted it to feel like fall so when you're wearing like a dark coat you just have this and all you see is like a column of this flash of that emerald green this looks i just oh my god this again I love this with the boot and then the nice sort of punch with the bag. God. Listen, if any of you get any of these pieces today, please tag me on Instagram at Karen Britchick on your stories, on your post. I want to just restory you. I want to share everything that you got and how you styled it because this to me is exactly how I see fall. I've always seen it in terms of jewel tones, stepping into wearing animal prints because it's a little bit cooler. It's just like, it's the perfect fashion time. It's the reason why so many people in the fashion world love the fall because it's that in-between season where you can still wear and layer with so many pieces, layer up, layer down, it's up to you. But God, there's nothing to say. Okay, so another way to wear it is I just took the belt from the dress and as I said, I like to wear it as a choker, either on bare skin or I just tied it over the blouse, right? Remember the blouse is underneath, the dress is on top and then I just tied the belt a couple of times around. It just did like a pussy bow thing on the side. This is, I mean, you could have this as long as as short as you want. Um, it's up to you. I'll just put it behind for now. Um, but I just took a statement belt and I just wore that over with it and then hands in the pockets and that's just literally a, another look and I'm wearing it with knee-high boots but yeah so that's the whole vibe and again this is this looks so expensive together no lie because 
my sister Emma, it's funny, I just literally we just started working together and she's so cool. Hi Emma if you're watching. She said that she's gonna get this because she also thinks it looks really expensive in person and it, it really does. It looks it looks like it costs more than it does. And then the bag, you can put whatever bag you want. I mean, this is your outfit, you know what to do by now. You're watching my channel, just pick up any colours you want. I obviously went with the black because I'm just doing like black accessories. But you decide, and obviously when it gets cooler, you wear this with um, like wool winter tights, uh, thicker tights, leggings, like the Uniqlo Heat Tech. You know how much I always talk about those bloody Uniqlo Heat Tech leggings. Those are a lifesaver under stuff like this. And then you put like a coat draped on top. God, the combination. Hold on, wait. I picked my thrifted paisley coat because you know I love that combination of prints. I could change the belt though. This is, this is, I'm being selfish here. I'm dressing the way I would literally style this and rock this in the fall. God, look at that combination together. I love it. I'll take this off though. I love styling in front of you. This is this is my jam right now. He is literally styling things in front of you. I probably would not do the belt because it's structured and looks kind of busy with this look. I would instead take a plain. If you love to print mix, if you're a print mixer like me, I'm a print mixer. This section is for you. I'll just do that. Oh my god! I love this together. I love this. That together, that's gold. This is classic Karen in the form with the boots and a pair of tights, obviously. So that's it with, if you want to do print on print. I feel like this color works so well. It's why I chose emerald, because I want, I like the versatility of this. Oh God. Okay, you get the point. This looks so good. Oh my God, hold on. It's as hot as balls right now, but I don't care. I'm doing it for the fashion. That. God, looks so 70s. I love it. Anyway, you get the point. These are the kind of different things you can do with it. And I like the fact that you can. <laughs> All right, so two more pieces from the collection, a total of six, like I said. We have the blouse in the sapphire color. So it's a sapphire, navy, dark, jewel tone. Again, it's another jewel tone. I love emeralds and I love sapphire blues. Those are my two top favorite jewel tones, which is why I had this blouse done. I wanted it to be ultra high on the neck. Um, I wanted the cuffs to be wider or longer because I've had variations of Victorian blouses over the years, but there's always something that is not quite right about it when it's just bought off of the shelf. And so I took this opportunity to just kind of customize it as much as I could. And I made like the cuffs more, just longer, so it's more defined, because it makes this part like much more sort of like um, exaggerated for the width, and then a nice high neck, and then the color. And I teamed it with the high waist pant, which is from the collection. These I love because they literally snatch the waist. I designed them to be nice and high, not the usual high waist. I wanted to go even higher than that. So it has that kind of Jacquemus trouser look, but obviously like on the budget. I had it made so that the belt sat below the waistline so that you've got like like a half an inch or so a strip of material here and the belt falls below that line so that it just feels like the belt is right in the middle and I just love that kind of look it gives and it just looks nice and sleek it's flat here just nice flat pockets and it's just a giant triangle these pants because they're wide leg I'll show you the cutaways but they just kind of go taper from being narrow in the hips and it just slowly widen out to the bottom um, when it hits your foot and that's how I wanted it. I'm five foot seven and it does have like an additional inch, I think, where you can let it down even further if you're a bit taller than I am. And if you are shorter than I am, then obviously you can have it a little bit taken up like you would with any other trouser that you would buy that's not like custom made to your particular height. Because I feel like women are quite specific on how they want the fall of a pant, especially one like this. And so I designed it so that you could like obviously have it hemmed a little bit or if you're good, you can have it this height or you can take it down a little bit more. So you can add a little bit more length to it so it drops even further. But it really elongates your fucking legs, this pant. And this, I wanted it to feel like the badass sorry at the office that was the kind of vibe I wanted something that was really like I said that was waist snatching just 
sucks you in, covers your lumps and bumps, smooths over and just skims off of you. I'm wearing a size medium everything. Um, I love how the blouse looks with this. This looks really good together. This blouse also rocks with the taupe cargo pants, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how these two look. This is my mum's, her necklace, and I just like that look. I just added like almost like a personalization, like a 70s vibe when you add something like a long chain like this. It just gives that kind of vibe straight away. And the back of it is elasticated, which I like. So it does have give at the back. This is, look, and it's flat at the front part only. So don't, the elastic is not all the way around. It's just at the back where it matters the most. So it actually goes in at the back here, or your smallest part of you. And this part is just smooth and just flat and really smart and just, just, just very waist snatching. That's the only way I can describe it. So that is, I love, I love this combination. And if it was winter, or a little bit like, you know, like just, it's gonna be like cooler in the fall. Oh my God, I would so do this. I would so rock this. I love this. In the fall. Tweed bag, and they got the high waist. I love this. Just the combination. This is my Ganny jacket. I just wanted to show you something tweedy so you can get like inspo for later. But that's that flash of a jewel tone. Love it. So this is the same blouse teamed with the taupe cargo pants. I just love how it looks together because the light and the dark, they kind of complement each other. The cargo pants you can wear however you want. It's also very stretchy, it has spandex in it. Same thing, it's elasticated in the back, so it has that give, all right? So if you get a size that you're not sure of, more than likely it will probably fit you. For example, I'm a size UK 12, US 8 and I'm wearing size medium in every single one of my six pieces and this is how it fits on me. But I know, based on the give of these, I could have gone down to a small if I wanted because I designed the cargos to fit oversized. So the fact that it has like this kind of banana, because it does, it has like a curve to it. Let me see if I can show you on the black pair. There is a defined, yeah, look at that, look at that. See how it just curves out right there and it goes tapers down to the ankle. They both do that. I like that curve. I think that looks really flattering. So I designed it to have that shape. And yeah, you can wear it either high, so you can like adjust this to fit even tighter on your waist, or looser, or all the way down to just wear it like lower on your hip, almost like a kind of like a harem drop crotch pants style. So it really, I actually like it like this. So it really is up to you how you want to style these pieces. They are your own. You do what you want with them. Um, I showed you last week in a style hack, I think it was last week or the week before, I like to take the blouse and just, this is my bra, tuck it under my bra and just make it look like it's slightly cropped, like this. If you want, I mean, my God, you know, you don't have to do this. This is just my, my little thing that I, I like to do. And I've done it with the zebra print one, the emerald green. Same thing, I've done the same like tuck just to make it look like I'm wearing something that's like, it's cropped. Yeah, so this is it worn a little bit tucked under, again, just to make it a little bit more cropped, add some interest to the blouse. And I loved seeing like the contrast of wearing a Victorian style blouse and then you just crop it. It kind of has a nice like yin and yang effect. It takes it from being like really feminine, kind of like really formal-ish for an office to really like casual downtown pool just by cropping it. And like I said, because these are adjustable in terms of like the height where you put the cargo pant, you don't have to show much skin at all. You can show like a Leah style, have this all the way down on your hip, or you can have it all the way up and just like tighten it with the D-ring belt and just have it sit much higher. So you've got that cropped vibe, but you're not showing too much skin. And I love, I love this combination. I love this together. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite looks because it's just like that, just downtown cool, but still got a bit of like, you know, it's like tomboy edge to it at the same time. Yeah, so. So I like how the blouse looks with denim, for example, because it's a nice way just to dress down denim. I think the best thing to do with a blouse like this, if you really want to make it so casual, is like destroyed denim. Anything that's kind of like really worn and beaten up. Don't wear it with like new stretchy denim. Wear it with like really loose, baggy, just grunged up, just clash it. That way you've got something that looks really like cool, like some Victorian style, vintage vibe, clashed with something that looks just downtown, kind of like just relaxed, very slouchy, casual, very easy to wear. And I think that kind of juxtaposition makes the, any kind of denim shine. Like this could have been a denim skirt, 
destroyed up like a midi or a, if you can get like a nice and long maxi kind of denim skirt those look really cool as well they do have them i'll link a couple below if i can find one that would look really good with this that kind of the vibe is what i'm thinking just a good denim also when it gets cooler tweed pants as well would look really good with it but yeah first off just a good pair of basic jeans that's really destroyed and then oh, just grab anything any blazer i mean i'm just grabbing this because it's right here but this coat would work with it. But any kind of, any blazer you've got, it doesn't even matter. You know, just put them on together and I think it's gonna look really good. Even my blue, like just going for a whole blue, whole blue look, right? Different shades of blue, really toned on top. I love that. I just grab. Oh my God. Just styling, styling on the fly, honestly, just really casual, but a little bit like kind of upscale at the same time. Just yin and yang, just clashing different like vibes together. And I picked the brown because you know I like blues and browns, so that's why I grab something that is like a brown, like a, it's just a good neutral. And I like the clash of something a bit more like ladylike with something like this very grungy, like these jeans. Um, and then you've got like the extra blue as well, which is like in between the two blues I'm already wearing. So this sapphire thing is incredible. It just, it's such a nice color to wear with anything that you've already got. Um, I even like it with like playing with jewel tones. Just that, just take like a, if you've got a Kelly green bag, just clash it have fun with these colors because that's what they're there for yes i still have the chloe bag right here but you know what i mean it's just about playing with jewel tones for this time of the year so you're not just wearing boring black you know what i mean because just just wear jewel tones i think that that's where you're going to find the most like just fun right for the fall and that's when you really want to like wear clothes when it it makes you feel good so I like the versatility of this with you know, just your everyday pieces, let alone with the cargoes or with the high waist pants. Also, I thought I'd show you just how the blouse looks with a skirt in your wardrobe. I picked out a vintage suede brown skirt, chocolate color, perfect with this jewel toned sapphire blouse. That's why I picked these kind of colors because they slot perfectly into all the autumn kind of colors that you're going to start seeing. And I like that combination of just having the silkiness and of this blouse with the thickness and structure of the suede I just like that combo together denim is probably my favorite combination to wear this with just to like really like toughen and grunge it up a little bit or grunge it down um, and then after that is to just wear something like this where you've got like just your tough boots on just make it you and then um, i just added a necklace just to add a little bit of something this is mazoma you guys already know about this but yeah just that combo together and just put any kind of jacket on top i don't want to keep reaching for that bloody jacket but i know it's going to look good this one that god oh anyway i'm not going to put it on because this video is going to go on for like three hours or something but this is a look i love together okay right so last one the last piece in the collection is the cargo pants in black so i have them in two colors in the taupe and in the black i did it with contrast stitch for this one because I wanted a pair that was kind of neutral for somebody who doesn't like contrast stitch first of all because not everyone does you know you lot know how much I love it so I I had to I designed for me I wanted to have a contrast stitch because I could not do a collection without it so for those who don't there is a neutral very good with like creams like I can see this with like cream knits later on like cable knits this is gonna look so nice with polonex in chocolate colors as well you wear this with this kind of color scheme look at that that's that whole like cream neutral family that's your vibe but if you want something that's a bit kind of like tougher a bit more of a statement god this looks so expensive if you just want something that looks like this then this is your jam i just teamed it with the anin bin top kind of asymmetric neckline kind of playing off the asymmetric with the waistband here same thing it zips up here and then it has a flap that goes across and then does that so yeah that's that's my collection that is it i just bummed it on with my jordans in the green but this looks really good i'll show you the cutaways also with doc martins as well you you decide i mean i wore this to go to the airport um, a couple of weeks ago when we, when we went to new orleans i wore this i wore um some kind of like vest top i'll insert cutaway here because i did a reel 
so I'll show you basically what I had to the airport but these were a lifesaver sitting on the plane really comfy um, like I said I like that they're oversized I love that they do this they kind of curve out the material of the both cargoes are kind of semi structured so they kind of keep their shape they're not like a floppy flimsy kind of cargo these kind of are well you can already see just from looking at this but I love I love them I love these I love every single piece I came up with they all kind of scream tomboy chic Everything has a chic spin if you want it to, but it can also have a tomboy vibe if you want it to. That is it, my loves. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you, I don't know, just if you're into fall, man, like into the next season, and if you like the versatility of the pieces, and also just to let me know if you're gonna take a peek. You don't even have to get anything. Just take a peek at the collection on um, Amazon The Drop. It's coming out at some point today. I do not know what time. I think what I will do is, outside of Instagram, because that is where you will find the most up-to-date information, because on Instagram, I can post multiple times a day. I'm not gonna post multiple YouTube videos, but I will post the moment it drops and goes live on Amazon. I will put an Instagram post up first to tell you that, and then I will leave a swipe up link in my Instagram stories for you to shop the collection yourself. And the time that that actually launches, I will come back onto this video and I will update the below description box to click on it and just shop the collection. I got you, I got you sorted. I will be updating on all platforms. Oh, and another thing, I'm gonna leave a link below to my where did you get that Facebook because on my Facebook, I'm going to allow you guys to use it as a forum to once you've received the pieces, if for example a piece arrived and it's the wrong size and you can't get your size because you can do returns and exchanges but if for any reason um, your size is not showing as available and you should kind of think crap I wish I had a size up or a size down go onto my um, where did you get that Facebook page and leave a note so I want that to be your forum link is for it below for when the collection starts to like deliver to everybody check out the forum um, and then just leave your comments saying hey I got the black in the small does anyone want to swap with the medium or whatever all right so that's your opportunity if you can't get it on Amazon that's if that is it I don't think there's anything else I want to say but you know just let me know if you do get anything comment below here or on my Instagram send me a tag on my stories I will restory those who are like letting me know if they bought anything like screenshot maybe like your shopping cart because i'm curious to see what did you get because i am a flipping nosy parker in case you hadn't noticed by now and uh, the reason i'm a nosy parker is because i started my where did you get that as the name and also having a street style series based on the fact that i'm nosy and i like to see what people get and what they wear speaking of episode 22 went up last Friday so if you've not seen it I will leave a link for you below I know that you guys love that that's my favorite series as it is for yours but that is everything good luck let me know what you get if you do get anything um, I'm curious to know and yeah I'm gonna be going in and getting my mum the cargos because I know she's told me that she wants them so I'll be shopping for her so yeah I'll see you guys on Instagram okay we'll talk there and also in the community section of YouTube I'll try and update you with there but anyway Oh, today's going to be an interesting day. Let's just let, let's just hold hands and do it together. Right. That's it. See you on Friday. Bye.